Hello, my name's Mark Burton. I'm a transformational consultant from Middlesbrough in the northeast of England. And I work with um, businesses and charities and individuals trying to transform them to grow them and develop them. And the reason I can do that is because of the transformation I've seen in my own life. Ten years ago, to everyone, my life seemed great. I had won a national award. I had a beautiful girlfriend. I had good friends around me and good family. But then I, it was as if I lost everything. You see, for years I'd been, rather than dealing with the issues in my life, with the loss and the grief, I was bottling it all down and I was um, self-medicating through alcohol. And I thought I was big and clever, and but really I was a, just a drunken idiot. And all this came to the surface. On the 18th of August 2010, I had a panic attack. Um, I'd been having these regularly, but after that, it, things just got worse. So I had a panic attack and a breakdown and another breakdown and another breakdown until in April um, 2011. I, I, I was in the state where I was having 10 break, sorry, 10 panic attacks a day. And my therapist told me that I had a week to change my life. She said there was two options. At the end of the week, I'd be dead and so because I was suicidal. Or the other option would be I'd be sectioned under the Mental Health Act. And when you're faced with this, when you know that your life's got to change, but you don't know how. And you know you're not, there's no one there else to help you. There's nothing you can do. I cried out to God in my desperation. And at the end of that week, um, I felt the voice tell me to go to church and I turned up at church and with the music on I started crying and at that moment God came and the Holy Spirit touched me and started healing me and then they asked if anyone wanted to go forward for prayer and as I went forward for prayer they laid hands on me and prayed for me and all of a sudden I just felt all these sicknesses, the illnesses, the 14 conditions I had just come off, total transformation and deliverance. I still didn't understand what had gone on. And for all I knew, I, all I knew that was something was different, different about me. I'd lost everything and yet on the Monday I got a new job. The Tuesday I got a tax rebate. On the Wednesday I got a bonus from work. On the Thursday I got, um, a lady was driving past me in a car and she pulled into a dentist called Alpha. And as I went past the sign came on and flashed. This was a sign for me to go back to church and to sign up for the Alpha course to learn more about what had happened. And when I went back to church on the Sunday, I signed up for the Alpha course, but I still didn't understand what was going on. I was getting these numbers in my head, 1045. And, and rather than being a good thing, I thought I was cracking up. I, was, I thought I'd been sectioned. So I came home, I was laid on the bed crying. And as I cried out to God again to understand what had happened, a bookcase fell over and the back of the bookcase was a Skull Gideon's Bible, a red Skull Gideon's Bible. And it was open on Mark 5, the healing of the demon possessed man. And as I read it, I realised that this wasn't a 2,000 year old story. This was my story. That I'd been healed. Miraculously. I'd met Jesus. And then I also realised as I turned over to the number I'd heard, the 1045, Mark 1045 said, even the Son of Man came and gave his life as a ransom to many. And I realised that I'd, I'd, I'd given my life to God and I was to go and help other people be transformed and change others. From that, yes, I'd seen miracles in my own life. But as I've learned to try and understand, and I've been on that journey, I'm learning to see transformation and changes in other people's lives. See people healed the same as I was and see miracles. And I'm very fortunate to say that. If I was to give any advice to anyone listening today, what I'd say to them is, don't be the drunken idiot I was. Learn from my mistakes. I don't know what you're dealing with, whether it's that pain, trauma, loss. I, I, I don't know what you're going through, but God does. Turn to him. Phone the Salvation Prayer Line. Phone the hotline. Phone someone, there's, there's loads of people up there to help you. Life seems hopeless and it seems worthless, but there is people that care. There is hope out there. My story is not just a one-off. It was a miraculous miracle. But these things can happen to you. Speak to someone and get help. Amen. Yeah,